Come on now. You think we're stupid? Look at me right now. Do I look stupid to you? Okay, maybe that was not the best example, but anyways, you guys can't fool us. The news is pushing a new agenda to desensitize us to the spiritual realm, and today we're going to cover it in detail. But before we do that, let's get into the intro. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, do? Let's get into it. The news is reporting about a rare medical condition called demon face syndrome, but the darker agenda behind this is more evil than you think. Just in the past few days, the mainstream media has been in lockstep with one another, reporting on this phenomena called demon face syndrome, insinuating that a certain medical defect is causing humans to see other people in the shape of demonic looking figures. The suspicious part about this reporting is that this syndrome is basically unheard of with only 81 documented cases. With numbers that low, many people are asking why this is even newsworthy to report. Are we being told the truth about this syndrome or is the news trying to desensitize us to the reality of the supernatural realm? Let's watch the official news broadcast of when this syndrome was reported and after we watch this I'm going to dissect the real agenda behind promoting this mysterious condition. Censored, here's the weird stuff I love. Imagine your vision is totally normal and then one day you see demonic features everywhere on people only, just like this, what you see behind me. Now that's a reality for a man named Victor Shera. He has extremely rare yet terrifying disorder called PMO. And no, it's commonly known as, or now known because People didn't know about it at first. It's called the demon face syndrome. People with the condition see parts of other people's faces distorted in shape, texture, position, or color. For Shara, that means grotesque, grimace, elongated eyes, and deeply etched scars also pointed ears. There are 75 known cases of the disorder. For those who have eyes to see and ears to hear, we know that the media is our enemy and not our friend. And they do not have their best interest in reporting accurate news to us, but rather an agenda that they want to push for their own evil accord. Let me just be very blunt. I'm not buying this garbage for one second. I believe that these people are trying to desensitize us from the veil being removed in the natural realm. When Paul was addressing the Jewish people being specifically blinded by the Old Covenant, he used very interesting language here that I believe is applicable for this specific topic. In 2 Corinthians 3, 14 through 16, he says, But their minds were blinded, for until this day the same veil remains unlifted in the reading of the Old Testament, because the veil is taken away in Christ. But even to this day, when Moses is read, a veil lies on their heart. Now pay attention to the statement that Paul makes in 2 Corinthians 3.16. In 2 Corinthians 3.16, it says, Nevertheless, when one turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. As the mass awakening continues and many people are starting to turn to Jesus Christ, the spiritual veil is being lifted and the supernatural realm is becoming more visible every day. This supposed syndrome is merely a tactic to desensitize us from the reality that demonic creatures roam this earth and cloak themselves as humans. Shape-shifting creatures are nothing new. With many ancient cultures such as the Greco-Roman, British, Irish, Norse pagan, Indian, Armenian, and Filipino cultures, all reporting events of supernatural shape-shifting capabilities. Even Hollywood has used movies as desensitization techniques to create fictitious entertainment of shape-shifting entities being a result of the spiritual veil being lifted. In this movie called They Live, the plot is about a man who discovers these specific sunglasses inside of a church building, and when he puts them on, he can start to see the world for what it really is. As he puts the sunglasses on, what looks like humans behind the veil are actually demonic creatures in disguise. The agenda behind this news report is to keep the veil in place through psychological conditioning to cause us to believe that witnessing supernatural events is merely a medical defect and not a result of us seeing actual proof in front of our own eyes. The interesting golden nugget that I picked up from this They Live movie is that he got these glasses that removed the veil from a church building. I believe this was specific symbolic messaging that the satanic elite were creating that they know the true Holy Spirit filled discerning Christian can see the matrix for what it really is. This type of demonic manifestation has already been gaining a lot of traction with a video on TikTok that got almost half a million likes exposing how this exact phenomena was occurring at a Lana Del Rey concert. And that's no surprise to me because Lana Del Rey is a high ranking Hollywood witch who openly blasphemes and mocks Jesus Christ as well as promoting occult ideologies in her songs. This TikToker named Epic Paranormal reported 
reported a weird demonic sighting at a Lana Del Rey concert that he attended, where Lana Del Rey, as well as her crew members, had distorted demonic faces when he was taking a photo of them on stage. This is really freaky. Weird stuff happened at the Lana Del Rey concert last week. This was the strangest concert I've ever been to. There was a guy screaming constantly for Lana to kill him. And he kept requesting heart-shaped box. Go on the road and play box. The whole vibe was incredibly weird spooky but as the night went on especially the last like three songs her demeanor changed lana del rey's demeanor changed and for some reason my camera kept glitching <laughs> on all the photos i was taking i don't know why this was happening That's absolutely wicked. But the reason why I shared that is because this demonic sighting looks very similar to the propaganda that they are reporting on the news as some sort of medical syndrome. No matter how hard the elite try to gaslight us into thinking that seeing in the supernatural realm is a medical disorder, people are waking up. Christians and non-Christians alike. And God is allowing this to happen so people can clearly see that there are two kingdoms in this world, the kingdom of God and the kingdom of Satan. Soon, the evidence will become crystal clear that the enemies of Jesus Christ control this world. And God is giving us a way out as well as conquering this world by being born again through his Holy Spirit, which can only be done by giving your life to Jesus Christ, God's one and only beloved son. I pray that this would cause a shaking and a stirring in your spirit to seek Jesus like never before. And maybe if you've backslidden or if you're lukewarm, kind of maybe on the fence, if you don't know if you should give your life to Christ or not, I'm telling you now is the time, now more than ever, because things in the spirit Spirit are going to be ramping up and the news being in lockstep of trying to gaslight us about this is proof that something big is happening so read your bible pray and give your life to jesus christ if you haven't yet thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you're awake to this sinister agenda as well as the things of the spirit i want you to comment down below i'm awake if you want to financially sow into this ministry you can do so by checking the offering link that's in the description or you can buy my merch, which is also linked in the description. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Ain't a game, Jesus who I claim. Yeah, he reigns, cross up on my chain. Brand new lane, heaven my domain. The world I gained, but it ain't do a thing.